when you see the compatible RAM speed on the spec sheet, knock a couple of pegs off of it, and that's like the real one. Do you know what I mean? So if it says 5333, 4600 is probably okay. So, uh, I've been trying to... So, okay. Let's go newegg.ca. So, I need a motherboard on launch day to get testing done, right? So, I figure... I was thinking, I'm like, okay. Am I going to test DDR4 first? Or am I going to test DDR5 first, right? And on a personal level ddr4 interests me more right i do have ddr5 coming on monday so i will have it but oh, let me open a new notepad okay so based on the leaks we know that the, the gear one Hang on, 12900K. This, this is, there's, there's, there's a story to all this that I want to get to, right? The 12900K caps out around 3866 slash 4000 megahertz, right? Gear one. So when it comes to DDR4 and gear one usage, all motherboards should be able to do this right so if you go to newegg.ca you go z690 a whatever this rog one right usually you go to the specs page where the fuck is it the hell oh yeah so you go to the specs page you go to memory standard ddr4 5333 so this is like the maximum gear two capable that it could like theoretically maybe do you always shave a few bins off of the top number right so it's like okay even if it was 4600 gear two that means that 4000 gear one is fine so you can pretty much buy any entry level ddr4 alder lake motherboard and it'll work fine right so based on and then and then right so you can kind of see where i'm going with this right ddr4 equals any entry level board is fine yeah. right so gear two what's this times two right calculator uh 3866 times two so 7700 right 7700 is the like the theoretical maximum of gear two mode right so what motherboard is gonna support this speed of memory right you're gonna want like one of those high-end xoc fucking dark hero apex fucking what's the msi one again the unify x right you want you want one of those ones right z690 unify is that even up oh yeah look at that oh not the unify x though what the hell is this oh z490 no 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 no, no. never mind no, no no um bhp so i bought so no so with that knowledge in mind right i bought the uh z690 unify x yeah i bought this one because dual channel ddr5 6800 that's like the highest that you're gonna be able to get on this generation because because you also have to consider that this is the first ddr5 generation that we have they don't really have any fast ddr5 sticks to test with you see those things come out that are like a data has overclocked their ram and validated validated it to like 8000 it was on these types of boards like one of these ones that they did it so if you are gonna go for a ddr5 platform even if you're looking like a future proof type of mindset like like i want to future proof myself two years from now when 
uh raptor lake and the better ddr5 kits come out yeah you're gonna want one of these ones right because these will scale with the ddr5 as it gets better and comes out and shit right you don't want to get an entry level ddr5 board right but so that being said i ordered this one so from bhp to canada takes like seven days right so i'm not gonna have my ddr5 review for a while but that brings me back to the ddr4 board right c690 which ddr4 board do i get right so like uh, i've been i've been fucking talking about no i'm not gonna get the itx um the reason why I'm not gonna get the ITX this generation, I think I think Alder Lake is gonna pull a fuck ton of power, dude. In Warzone. Like I think it's gonna pull a shit ton of power. So just from how I saw that what Rocket Lake did, right? So it ru ru the chip running cool is like you know how they shaved off more of the dye and made the IHS thicker and all that shit, right? that just tells me that it pulls a fuck ton of power right so because it pulls that much power i want like a larger vrm and like just like more copper for the heat to absorb into right like i it could be totally fine on an itx board but my my itx board with a 10900k playing warzone the vrm fan turns on like 2000 r but it does the vrm stay at like 50 60 celsius but the fan does turn on on my itx board so if alder lake pulls that much more power i'm just gonna go with the atx variant just to have more thermal headroom on the board itself right because heat from the cpu can affect memory stability as well right it can so if your board if the board itself is getting too hot from the heat of the cpu it can fuck your memory up right so anyway that's why i didn't do that so anyway um let me catch up here before we move on okay anyway so anyway what ddr4 board do i get right so because just based from this we know that you can pretty much get any ddr4 board and still max out alder lake right so when i went to the store what the one that i kind of really want it's this gigabyte one i'm not sure if it's even here gigabyte see this is a nice one ddr4 aero that's kind of a nice one right uh aorus pro it's an aorus elite Oh, hey, the Unify one. See, again, I would get this one, but I think the 12900K would overload it. Right? It's... it's it 10 plus 2, oh, 105 amp. Oh, maybe not, right? Holy shit, dude. So, yeah, this would be a good one to get, though. But, okay, so the other, the other, the other stipulation that I have... Um, so any ddr4 board but i need it on launch day that's the that's a big problem right so even like this one could be pretty good right this was probably the best one to be honest but i kind of want more slots now right because alder lake has so many lanes i don't see why i wouldn't so so my 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 initial argument of this would be the best one kind of went out the window because the ddr4 gear ratio is so low so you would want this one if you were going for like micron sticks at like 6000 megahertz ddr4 but if you're going for if your goal is a gear one ratio any motherboard will max it out so there's not really any uh, any reason to get that itx one right um where's the aorus elite here gigapyte gaming x ddr4 no i wonder if it's here actually this seems like the best one uh elite this one 
Elite AX DDR4. This seems like it has like, you know, three slots, right? Three slots plus three NVMe slots, four dims. What's the memory speed on it? Four, yeah, fifth, yeah. Five, so we can max out gear one. Ideally, I would want this one for my day one review, right? Ideally, plus 16 plus fucking... Oh, 70 amp. You see how they always put the uh, the better parts on ITX boards? Whenever you buy an ITX board, you always get the best shit. Always. Look at this downgraded nonsense, right? But they put way more faces because they have the space for it, right? Um, so, ideally, I would want this one, right? Ideally. But, I don't, but so let's say I order it. It's like... It, um ships on november 4th so then i would get it november 5th that's not too bad waiting an extra day but i really want it on launch day while the news is hot right get that get get some kind of content out on even just live stream get something out on it maybe we'll do a live stream on thursday just like put it together and load it up together right um just get something out right but so i went to canada computers um i went to yeah the more slots for mining that that was a thought that uh that was a thought that came into my head i'm not gonna lie right like if like hmm what if i get more cards i can put more fucking slots on that shit right i did i know yeah I did, you called me on it 100 percent, 100 percent. i'll admit i'll admit okay you know what i mean but but the other reasons that I mentioned are valid too, okay? They are valid. If you're gonna, if you're going gear one, there's no reason not to get a robust board, right? No reason. So I went to Canada Computers today. They do have the 12 month. I asked if I can just fucking have it. They're like, no. I'm like, fuck. You know what I mean? That would've been fucking sick. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll go back tomorrow and be like, maybe I'll ask a different person. Be like, hey, I uh. Maybe I'll do that. They do have one board in stock right now. I put my name down for it, so I'm guaranteed to get it on launch day. It's the shitty one though, Z490 or Z690A. MSI one. It's not even here, I don't think. Oh, here it is, this one. So I have this one on pre-order, ready to go for launch day, but I don't want this one man it's so fucking ghetto you know like i don't i don't want to want to have this one and be stuck with it for the whole gdr4 gender i'd rather have the aorus elite right and check this out check the memory speeds supported 5200 so it's actually one bin lower than the gigabyte one right but it would work fine. It would still max out a gear one Alder Lake platform, right? So if you were really budget constrained, yeah, I get this one. But I kinda but I kinda want the gigabyte one anyway, right? Also, the Asus ones would be fine too. Z490P D4. I kinda want the A. Z Z690 A D4. Yeah, this was a pretty pretty dude the um the z6 not this the, the 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 a variant of the strix boards are very impressive dude in terms of build quality i have a couple of these z490 variants for mining because they have eight slots on them um i have a couple and i'm like so when i'm putting my mining rig together with the z490a i'm like this thing's pretty hefty. Like, like the VRM heatsink is fucking hefty. The build qual, like, like their 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 A variants came a long way, dude. I wouldn't mind having this one either. And the benefit of having an Asus board is you get the SP rating. So maybe I want this one because I kind of want to know what SP rating my my Alder Lake chip is oh dude the pci express quick release i don't think this one has it does it no this one doesn't have it that's only on on the hero i think but yeah this this, this looks fine one slot two only three slots though so you get you get more you get more slots with the gigabyte one right 
what does this actually come with so if this one's available on launch day you know what i would be happy with this one or the gigabyte one on launch day i would be happy with either or right if anybody has any other suggestions on good azrock i'm not a fan of you could probably be okay with azrock because gear one is so low for ddr4 but i would only really trust the tai chi and i didn't see it anywhere i don't trust any boards except for the tai chi dude none of them the tai chi is the only good one no you can't believe the ram numbers that's why that's why i say when you see the compatible ram speed on the spec sheet knock a couple of pegs off of it and that's like the real one do you know what i mean so if it says 5333 4600 is probably okay do you know what i mean if the ddr5 one says like 7200 you're probably okay at like 6800 one of those you know what i mean always knock a few off because they're always gonna advertise the fucking celestial moon with the horizon the stars aligning it is works in one fucking day of the year kind of condition they're gonna advertise that kind of shit right isn't there an msi godlike yeah but that would be ddr5 though all the they're making all the ddr4 boards like the budget ones do you know what i mean like which is incredibly weird that like like we, we, we could talk about like why they're doing that in the first place like it doesn't make it like like did none of these motherboard manufacturers realize that ddr4 is just as fast as ddr5 so you know what's interesting why didn't one of the manufacturers make a really good ddr4 board or maybe azrock will when the tai chi comes out like I know all the Azrock boards are DDR4. What does that tell you, right? It's like, yeah, fuck DDR5. Um, Azrock Z690 Tai Chi. Let's see if it even exists. Oh, it does. Is it DDR? Oh, it's DDR5. That's too bad. Of course, their one high end one is DDR5, right? 6400 with a four dim? I wouldn't trust Azrock with that shit, though. Azrock is the sketchiest, the sketchiest of them all, dude. DDR4? No, I think the extreme is going to be the power stage. Let's see, look at this. This is what I'm talking about, dude. Look at this. All the Z690 Azrock ones are all like dog shit 60 amp power stages. And then you get to the Tai Chi and it's a 19 phase 105 amp. You know what I mean? Like the Tai Chi is the only trustable one from Azrock. Only, dude. This is fucking ridiculous. All this other. Oh, anyway, anyway, yeah too bad they don't have it in ddr4 that would have been a good seller dude this in ddr4 would have been a goat seller for sure phantom gaming extreme ddr4 no yeah yeah no none of the vendors i think the gigabyte elite one is probably your best bet a 16 phase 75 amp or this or the the itx one from gigabyte probably your best bet because because asus doesn't fucking tell you what amps you're getting with theirs right all right anyway let's change topics here anyway that was my that was my my motherboard fiasco that i've been having to deal with this entire last week i've been trying to make i've been like contacting and like pre-ordering all these different places trying to make sure that i get one on launch day you know what i mean